this was some flowers. I really like this paint. I think it's cute. I want to do something here. I'll probably put a little sticky here or something. She looks so good. I just can't stop looking at her. It's been a while. I'm sorry if you can hear cars in the background. People are driving a lot today. I don't know what's going on. My last video, I talked about that being a part one and there being multiple parts of that. I actually might take down that video because I didn't really like it and I only uploaded it because it took me a while to edit. And now that it's been five months since the year started, I think I've come to peace with the fact that all the footage that I had filmed of the last few months, I don't really care to use anymore because nothing really happened of the first few months. I miss vlogging, I miss having something to talk to about art and stuff. That's not my husband who doesn't care. So today, it's a Friday today, and I don't have work, and I'm really excited. So I actually would have been off of work already, and this morning I streamed on Twitch. I was painting this bad baby right here. She's so cute, are you ready for her? Cause she's so cute. Isn't that adorable? I'm really excited for this painting. I'm painting these purple wisterias that I see all over where I live right now. They actually stopped blooming about a week ago, but when they were in full bloom, oh my gosh, they were so gorgeous. And I swear I've never seen them before. I don't know if I just haven't been paying attention or it's because I haven't really been here for a while. Because I think, no, I was in town last spring. I'm not really sure why I never saw the wisterias, but I saw them this year and they were really pretty and gorgeous. And I would have gone to go see them in person at the, um, some, I forgot what it's called. It's some type of garden in DC, but it's not the Botanic Gardens. It's a whole different garden. But they had Winsteria's blooming, and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to go see it so bad. My allergies were so bad this year that I didn't go. I also missed the Cherry Blossom Festival because the Cherry Blossoms bloomed, and then within the week, there was a windstorm and a rainstorm that happened at the same exact time, and it washed away all of the Cherry Blossoms. So there was no Cherry Blossoms for me to go see. And I was really sad about it because I missed it by like three days. Anyways, we're not going to get into that. But but some other stuff that I want to do today is I do want to continue painting this. I really want to get as far as I can in this today. Because like I want this painting to be done soon. And I don't even have half of it done. I've been working on it for the last two weeks. And I don't know why it's taking me so long. Because that painting over there, my favorite one, the one that everybody loves, that one took me 15 hours. So the fact that I've spent 15 hours on this already and I've only gotten a part of it done, it's, it's stressing me out a little bit because I didn't think that these paintings took me that long. But anyways, I want to work on doing some stickers and I haven't really been inclined to do any digital work lately. So I think I'm gonna do some painting st stickers. So I think I'm gonna paint in my sketchbook today of some cute little stuff originally i was gonna do spring but because spring is almost over i might still do spring um yeah stickers is the plan for today and doing this painting and that is literally the only two plans but let me stop talking because nobody cares um i also need to clean today i decided i wanted to clean the basement where i live and i also don't really feel like cleaning it now because i really want to do art Let's get to painting. I hope my sound doesn't suck. These cars are really pissing me off. It's a rainy day today and I love, I love a rainy day. But then I can hear every single car that passes by and it's frustrating. So I'm trying to choose which sketchbook I want to use. I have a lot of sketchbooks that I have started and not finished. So this one I think is one from like, yeah, this is from college. It's really bad. I'm not going to really show you it, but I was going through a big art slump when I was doing this. I think it lasted like three years, like the entirety of my college career. I was going through an art slump and I completely lost. Actually, let's get vulnerable. I completely forgot how to paint, essentially. So like I had all of these, you can't even see it, all these ideas laid out that I never even started. Um, so this was my first landscape painting since high school and I painted this my senior year so about a year ago probably today like um, 
I painted this and I was pretty proud of it. It I'm not proud of it now, but at the time. This oh maybe so maybe it was like two years ago because this was from Halloween. And I really hate this. Uh yeah. And then Yeah. That went nowhere. I don't know how to draw people. I never learned. I briefly learned, but again, I went through a slump for so long that I forgot all anatomy. And this was supposed to be like a witch and her cat, and I couldn't figure it out, and now that's what that is. This was just a random painting. It was like a quick painting. I think this is the first time I used gouache, and I didn't know how to use gouache because I paint with acrylic, and it's different. This was just a little fun. I kind of just wanted to do like a quick... I used to do um, this thing called a shit paint where I would just paint on a page and I wouldn't care if, to make it good. Sometimes I would just splatter paint on it and see what I could make about it. This is essentially that. This was me practicing some trees. Um, they're not bad. This one is atrocious. I don't know how to use a... What are, the, what are those things called? A fan brush? I don't know how to use one. That's with a fan brush. I've never known how to use it. And then this was just awful. This was bad. This was supposed to be a scene from Arietti with um, gouache because I was practicing gouache at the time and I got so frustrated with it because I didn't know how to use gouache that I gave up. This was a piece that I was really excited for and I never finished and I still am mad that I never finished it but I'll probably finish it sometime in the future but I was so excited to finish this piece. I thought I was really getting somewhere with my art at this point and like with illustration and I do believe that it could be good, but I think I messed it up in my mind. So I'm going to probably take it into Photoshop and finish it there. Not Photoshop, Procreate. Um, this is just a page of nothing. This was supposed to be a painting of a rock that I never finished. These rocks are cute though. And that's it. That's that sketchbook I never finished it and it looks like trash this sketchbook I only have one painting in it and this is that painting this I painted last summer so and then this one is the one I've been working on for the last week two weeks or so I've only have two paintings in it there is this one wait oh I guess I did paint this one first I didn't think I painted this one first I'm pretty sure I didn't paint this one first but for some reason, it's in the front of my sketchbook. There's that one. And then there's this one. I don't hate them. I don't love them. But honestly, they are more so studies just to test out different textures and stuff. Um, so I don't mind these, especially because they're sketchbook paintings. So I'm trying to figure out if I should just keep this one as like a full painting sketchbook type thing. I think I am. I think I'm going to use this sketchbook today because it only has one painting in it. I also have like two other sketchbooks. This one is for drawing and colored pencil, which I can also show you because we're doing a little sketchbook tour right now. And why not? These, I do believe I posted some of these on Instagram. This is more so for like journaling and stuff which I stopped journaling a while ago because I ne could never keep up with it. Um, it's just, I don't know. I, I need to find a way to do journaling. This was some flowers. I really like this page. I think it's cute. I want to do something here. I'll probably put a little sticky here or something. This was a journaling page. I was just having a good day, so I did some drawing. And then this originally, I never finished this page, but this was, I was just kind of planning my week off. I had a week off of work and I was getting really stressed out. I was getting married the week after this and I was overwhelmed with the life and just everything moving so fast so I did some um, did some reflecting about my career on this page so I could organize my thoughts and where I was headed in my career specifically. And I think that might be the last page here. Oh. And then here are some thumbnails for some bookmarks that I was going to do. And I tried to do, I think I did this one, but I never posted it. And then this one, I tried to do um, 
and it turned out really bad and I tried to do it like four times and it just didn't work out so I kind of gave up on the whole thing unfortunately but I'll probably do painting versions of these because I feel like these would look really good as paintings instead of digital work because I think I have to realize that at heart I'm not a digital artist like I do love digital work and I of course will do it but I don't have to always do digital work just because everybody is more inclined to buy digital work you know what I mean like it's a quicker medium so it's better for business but for satisfaction for myself it just isn't what I want so Okay, so here's the gag. I actually got distracted doing that sketchbook tour and never got around to doing any stickers. I had a friend come in like right after I recorded that um, and she just needed to drop something off so I was only out of the studio for like 10 minutes but I think my creative process had changed or something. Like I just wasn't going to sit down and do those stickers so I ended up just going ahead and starting painting um, and pushing the stickers off to another day because I, the stickers didn't really feel genuine in that moment and I know that sounds stupid but I didn't feel like I was producing stickers because I wanted to in that moment I was doing it because I felt like I needed to to make money and my big thing right now is that if the only reason why I'm doing it is to make a profit then I don't want to do it I'm fine with of course making a profit because I want this to be my living but if my only motivation is to make that profit, then I'm not going to do it in that moment. So I went ahead and did the actual piece of art that I wanted to do in that moment, and that is paint. So we're painting for the rest of the day. It is now 7.30 p.m. Um, I think I stopped working around like 3 because I went downstairs to go clean and then I got on TikTok which was the worst decision ever. I was on TikTok for like an hour and then I did fuck all for another hour and then I decided that I would need a dinner so I made myself a salad. I'm trying a new dressing because we're out of Greek dressing so I'm trying this like lemon herb dressing that we had in the pantry so that's what I'm having today because I feel like trash today so I'm eating vegetables for dinner um we didn't have any spinach so it has to be romaine so it's not that healthy but it's okay and then I also have some popcorn for my paint snack I am gonna be painting for the rest of the night and I want to get a lot done so I'm about to put on an anime I don't know what anime yet I think I'm gonna start a new one uh there's one that's been in my queue so I'll let you know what it is once I start it and then yeah then we're painting for the rest of the night I feel like popcorn bags should be smaller, personally. They should be half the size. 
over there, please. Is it empty? Oh, I see. Cool. Was I drinking this one or that one? I don't think this one's open. I've left. Have a little maybe. Thanks. Are you good? You okay? Did you want anything? morning or afternoon it's like 2 p.m um it's tuesday now i have worked on my painting a bit um i added some more florals and whatnot some leaves to separate my bushes and whatnot my thing is I, i'm kind of getting to a point though where i don't know if i really like my painting i don't hate it i don't love it um I think it's the values, I think it's the composition, and I knew that that was going to be an issue before I even started, because I was going off of not a reference photo, I was kind of just like mishmashing a bunch of random ideas together. I worked on this yesterday, and I came home intending to paint today. However, I just finished recording a reading vlog that took me like four months to make because it took me four months to read these books. Um, and so I think I'm gonna go ahead and edit that because I kind of feel like editing today and I need to work on my content a lot more even though I also need to work on my painting a lot more um, but I've been painting for days straight like I painted every single day last week um, but I've been painting a lot lately and I feel super productive in that and I don't mind painting today but I also think that I need I might need to take a step back from this painting and I could work on other work I need to focus on my content. I have not been making content like that. I posted on Instagram yesterday, but I haven't made a YouTube video in forever. The last YouTube video I made was in January. I didn't make a part two and part three. We talked about it. Um, and I made that video, I think in March. This is when I edited that. Yeah, that, I edited that video in March. And so it's May. I don't know what happened with April. My birthday was in April. And then all of a sudden it was done. It's really May now and I want to start really indulging my content. It's just that I, I feel like I'm running out of time constantly because I'm running out of time constantly. Like I need to be able to make a living soon and my life is just going to get more and more hectic the longer I wait, the more this year goes on. And so I need to start doing things that I don't not that I don't want to do it. I want to make content. Like, I want to make some good stuff. It's just I don't have time. And so I need to make time. And technically, Mondays are supposed to be content days, but I didn't edit yesterday at all. Today, I think I'm going to edit some YouTube videos. Or a YouTube video, my reading blog. I think what I might do is bring this into Procreate and work on it in there and see what I want to do with this painting. Because I'm really just not feeling it. I know the houses need to be worked on. The houses I kind of put off because I didn't want to work on it. Like I know things that I need to fix. I just don't know how to go about doing them and the idea of doing it all, like painting it all and then realizing I don't like it and then painting over parts, it just it makes me not want to paint at all. So 
we're gonna edit today. My studio drink today is just water. So, I'm trying to be healthier. Better for myself, so. Drinking water today. Water, water, water. Also, I think I'm dehydrated anyways. I've made a rule for myself that at 7.30, I have to leave the studio. Unless I'm in the middle of something, I don't have to work the next day. And that's about, that's about it. Those are really the only excuses. So it is almost two o'clock right now. So we have five hours to work on my video. I'm really excited. I miss editing so much. I love editing. It's a lot of fun and I get really into it. And then the sun goes down and I'm like, what happened? And then I forget to eat and I forget to drink anything. And then my body tries to kill me. But it's still a good time. It's almost 2 o'clock now and I haven't started working on anything. To be fair, of course I went to work this morning and I took a shower, had lunch. I don't really know what I've been doing. I think I was on TikTok for like 20 minutes. Sometimes when I go on TikTok just to like check up on some posts I did, I kind of black out and I end up scrolling for a long time and I don't realize I'm scrolling until after the fact and then I can't remember anything that I've watched. Like if I tried really hard, of course I'd be able to remember, but like just thinking about what I've done in the last 20 minutes, I don't remember because I was sucked in on TikTok. I need to update my little calendar back there because I haven't updated it. It has like my to-do list for the day and I want to make a habit of updating it every day. And then I'm going to paint. I like the painting a lot more now. I think there still is some issues with the uh, values and whatnot, but I'm taking a look at it again today. I definitely need to fix the uh, fence. I don't know if I said that earlier, but that's something I need to fix. I'm trying to decide if I want to do anything with the sky, but there's so many textures going on that a part of me doesn't really want to touch the sky, but we'll see. I don't love the grass, but I think for this piece specifically, we're just gonna keep the grass how it is because I don't really feel like fixing it. Um, and it works fine for this piece. It's just for long term, I don't think this is how I want to do the grass, but I think we're gonna start moving. I just dropped my coffee on the floor. Don't worry, I do it all the time. But yeah, I'm gonna start moving on to this side today and hopefully get majority of it done and then just have Friday to do some final touches on it. My studio drink for today is a honey macadamia cold creme, which is a drink that I made at work. It's not on our menu, so don't try to find it. My job liked my reel earlier today and it kind of like threw me for a loop a little bit. I was like, oh my gosh, now you guys know me and you know what I do. I don't know if I like that.
I don't know if it's because every time I work in the studio, it's the afternoon. And I love the morning. And I like being in the studio in the morning, but it is such a gorgeous morning today. It makes me want to cry. I'm hearing the birds chirp. The sky is blue. There's no clouds in the sky. It's like cool outside, but it's not cold. It's warm. It's perfect. The grass is green. The sun is just perfectly shining on the outside of my studio. Like, it's just, it's so beautiful this morning. And it makes me so happy. So today I'm off of work which is why we are in the studio this morning. And I'm excited. My boss keeps taking me off on Fridays and I don't really know why, but I don't, I'm not really mad about it because then I have more time to work. I just get paid less, but it's fine. Today there are actual things that need to be like finished and done. One of those things is this painting. Also, I'm sorry for the lighting if the lighting is a little bit distracting. Um, it's just how the light works in my room. And again, it's daytime, so I'm not used to filming at this hour. My painting baby has to be done. I have updated it since last time you've seen it um, because I know what the issue is. There's like not a lot of contrast and it's kind of hard for your eye. Don't look at the water. It's not done. It will have more light. I think I want to bring in the color from the sky into the water so it like fully, you know what I mean? But because I added this dot texture to the water, I don't think I'm going to add texture to the sky or I will add at the very end, but I'll have to see how I feel about it. I decided to take out the grass and put dirt instead and then we can do like a little bit of like grass here and there but I think that the grass was overpowering and I didn't like it because it was taking away from the bushes and the bushes were taking away from the grass so it kind of just looked like it was becoming something where only I would understand what I was looking at or what people were looking at and they wouldn't understand it so I took out the grass and I made it dirt um, I am still working on the path way and I haven't started on the um, fence, but we're gonna do, we're gonna start on the fence soon. Tomorrow I have a, I'm gonna go to a career fair tomorrow. Now I don't know what's at this career fair. I don't know if there's even gonna be any art jobs. There's rumored to be some art jobs available there, but my husband wants to go and he told me about it and I was like, you know what, why not? Like, what's there to lose? And even if I don't find an art career, I can still find a career somewhere that can pay me. And yesterday was very hectic for me and before even eight o'clock came around, I was sweating. It was a lot and it reminded me on why I need to change jobs. Like, it's time to change jobs because I get, I get paid minimum wage to work myself to exhaustion and I don't wanna do it anymore. And so if, if I have to work myself to exhaustion, I wanna get paid a living wage. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna to go to this career fair, see what they have. If they don't have art jobs, they don't. But coming back to the point, what we're doing today is I need to finish this painting, I need to update my resume, and I need to update my website. Studio drink today is coffee made with a uh, stovetop espresso. Um, it's okay. My grinder isn't the best grinder. I kind of have to like just guess and hope for the best. So a lot of the time my coffee doesn't brew fully right, but it's okay. It still tastes good. It tastes fine. I haven't had hot coffee in weeks. I've been drinking all iced cold brew for the last two weeks, um, which is new for me. I usually drink hot coffee. So this is a little, it's, it's throwing me a little bit because I just haven't had it in a while. It is currently, it's about to be eight o'clock. It's 7.57. So 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, that's four hours. Could we get this done? I want to say 12, but at the latest two. Could we get it done by two? So I'm going to say noon. We're going to get this done in four hours. Are you ready? Do it look scary? Are you ready? Oh, are you ready? Because I am. me 
Sorry for the late check-in. I record everything on an old iPhone and it ran out of storage while I was record while I was painting. So the painting's done, but I didn't record all of it because we ran out of storage. So it took me a few hours to export some videos and delete them so that I can continue recording this vlog. But it is now five o'clock. It took me until around three o'clock to finish this painting. I know we said 12 and I know I set a timer for four hours. But I forgot to put the alarm on the timer, and so it didn't go off, and so I just kept on working. Um, and I ended up working an hour past the, the timer. Because I looked at the timer, the last time I looked at the timer, it said seven minutes. And I was like, cool, great, seven minutes. We'll take a break, go eat, have breakfast, because by that point it was noon and I hadn't had breakfast. Um, and then the next time I looked at my phone, it was 1.12, I think. But we got it done. I am finding that... And I've always kind of known this, but today specifically, I've really noticed it. Whenever I get really into a piece, brain shuts down. Like, all that exists is this piece, and time does not exist. Because that went by so fast. But I was going a little bit insane. There was one point in the piece where I just started scribbling, because my brain was so mush at that point. But... Are you ready to see it? She is complete. Doesn't she look pretty? She's she's a lot on the eyes. She's a lot on the eyes. I don't even I can't even tell what I'm looking at in the camera. A little bit. But I love her. And she looks great. I think my biggest thing with my paintings and something that I'm just gonna have to accept is that it's gonna be a lot on the eyes. I would like to work a composition. But this was one of those paintings where I didn't really have a plan and I kind of just started painting. I didn't have a reference photo that I was going off of. I was going off of just the plants and then kind of some references, but they weren't really references. Like they were just kind of ideas that I was taking from different photos, but not in a referency way. The only thing I took from a reference was this lake, this river creek thing. So isn't she pretty? I think she's pretty. She took me a really long time. 
Like it makes me kind of rethink how much I'm charging my commissions because this painting would, I think I would charge like 700 something for this. I'd have to double check, but it's like, this took me like two weeks to paint. To be fair though, I only ever got to work on this for like max three to four hours. And in my mind, I had been working on it for six hours every day. And I don't think that's true because I worked on it for six hours today. And those six hours were like, that was six hours of work. So I feel like I was only really working three to four hours on this, if that, each day. So I think that if I was full time, I could actually finish this um, in a week. And a week's pay being 700 is not bad at all. That's... If we're gonna get personal that's how much I make every other week so she looks so good I just can't stop looking at her I'm really excited for that so that gets to go on to my portfolio and it's ready for career fair tomorrow I looked at my portfolio today so that brings us to what I've been doing since because now it's five o'clock you're like Michaela what do you do I ate breakfast I made breakfast before I made that because, again, I was going a little bit insane and I think it was because I wasn't eating anything, I hadn't eaten anything all day, and I needed a break. So I had some eggs, bacon, I had a slice of key lime pie, and I had some toast. And that's what I had for breakfast. It was really good, really delicious. Then I came back, worked on it for another hour and a half, finished it, added some more details, some light here and there, um, and then... I went straight into updating my portfolio resume resume first then portfolio so my resume is updated I've put my barista work on oh don't shake now don't be scared something I don't know if I should keep on here is I have a section that says awards but I haven't really won anything like I can't think of a single thing I've won and if I have won something I'm so sorry but I do not remember but I don't think I've won anything. And so I have an award section and underneath of it, all that it says is that I was part of National Art Honor Society, but that was in high school. And I don't think that's like a thing after high school. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's just a high school thing. And I'm 22. So, and then, um, and then I had that I made Dean's List in college. Like, those are all my accomplishments. And I don't know if I should keep either of those because something, and it, it feels weird. I did make magna cum laude in college and I'm wondering if I should put that because I feel like that is an award and an accomplishment in itself. Like, I worked my ass off to get magna cum laude. But, yeah. But I did put, I had my painting, I had that painting over there. I had that painting in an art exhibit at the airport near me and you might be like Michaela an airport and I'm like baby it's one of the biggest airports like the big ass airport like everybody's gonna see that airport if you've ever flown north and you had a layover or you had like stop and like you know what I mean if you've ever flown north and you had two planes or your plane stopped at all it probably stopped at that airport and so I had that piece up in that airport and so I put that under awards and I changed the section to awards and exhibits because I'm probably going to try and enter more exhibits. Sorry, my necklace has been messed up this whole time. I'm so sorry. Next is my portfolio tying. I ended up kind of falling into this rabbit hole of things that I've done that I don't really feel like writing about. Um, and I'm really trying to like figure out what's important. I got to get back to doing my portfolio because my husband's going to be home soon and we're going to have a little date night. So I want to get this done before he gets home. And he shouldn't be home for another like hour or so maybe. Let's do it again. Let's get to it, gang. I don't know why I can't talk today. What is going on? I need more coffee. That's what it is. Okay, so since I talked so damn much about this website, I decided to show you guys. So this is actually my old website that I made in college that I'm switching around. This is... A piece that I did for Sam Henshaw. Shout out to Sam Henshaw, my baby. Go stream Sammy Sam. So this is my favorite page of the whole website and 
why I'm struggling to kind of build my new website because I can't really do this in my new website but this is my senior thesis my favorite project that I did all of college I did a model a physical model a 3d model as you can see here and a quote-unquote prop which was just bookbinding essentially but it was so cute it was a cafe art studio not art studio cafe art gallery design that I worked really hard on and I built that entire model by scratch or from scratch sorry um, and I built all of the models within with my bare hands it was three floors it was super cute anyways that has nothing to do with anything I just wanted to brag I just wanted to show off my work and then something I really like about this page is that there are buttons that can move throughout the page which I haven't figured out on my new website and then there's my about page and then my project page is really boring in this website and one of the reasons why I kind of wanted to try something new because I just couldn't figure out what type of design I wanted on this platform so it's not the greatest and I think it's kind of an eyesore to me at least but the front page is super cute and then we move over to my new page look how adorable this is I have a little frog and toad quote at the front I like I want to be able to change it out depending on how I feel and as you can see half my website is under construction and these links don't even work I forgot to update them so here's me being confused about my links being broken <laughs> um, I should probably fix that and then so here's my actual portfolio page I separated all my work from traditional digital and uh, whatever whatever else medium that I'm gonna be using so here's my traditional page super cute you can click on each page and it'll bring you to its own subsection and so this is Wisteria's in the spring that I just completed that you guys just saw me paint and I have a little excerpt about the painting and why I painted it and whatnot anything I want to put in this is my commissions page and here's I, f I found a flaw and I didn't realize there was a gigantic space I got to fix that but and then I have the commission form linked throughout this page so that wherever you are you can click on the commission form and it just takes you to a little Google survey Here's my about page. It's something a little short. I really didn't know what to put for here, so there's kind of just a lot of BS on it, but I think it's cute. And then lastly is my favorite, my senior thesis, which I haven't been able to build a website, so honestly it just links back to my old website where you see this layout again, because I just haven't built my new website yet, so. Welcome to the end of the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you like the painting. If you don't, um, keep it to yourself. Um, if you want to see more of my work, you can always go and follow me on my Instagram. And I basically only post on Instagram, but you can follow me on TikTok too if you want. Prints for everything will be down in the description on my Etsy and blah 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 blah. blah. So, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. You're amazing and you're wonderful and you're so great and you're just you're just such a an amazing person and I hope that people tell you that because you are really just a great person if you could give me a like or anything I'd really appreciate it but if you don't want to it's fine but I just hope you have a wonderful day like I, I really hope that the rest of your day flourishes and if it doesn't it's okay because tomorrow's a new one I'll see y'all next time when I don't know but next time I'll see you